two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Jackson now. Caught out left side by Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. They go play action now. Jackson. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. He's got a man complete. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Jackson will throw again. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 40 now on second down, Jackson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. In motion, Hill. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. 
that's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From just shy of midfield, Jackson. That one complete down the field to Gonzalez. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 27 yards there, a first down. We're scoreless after one. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Lamar Jackson taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From just inside the 20, a short kick, and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. He's got this to Williams complete. He's got room at the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. As a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Jackson. incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game and the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. On second and 15 now, Jackson, he's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Marvin Harrison. 67 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Here's second and a yard.
To throw is Jackson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. This one complete to Jalen Waddell. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gonzalez. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. They go for it on fourth down, and it pays off big time as they pick up 29. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. In motion, Hill. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. 14 yards. And the Vikings will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. In motion, Hill. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, Jackson. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Jackson. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The kick by Sanders is good. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Slot man moves right. They'll start on the ground here on first down. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 31, Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. Flush to his right. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's brought down. And they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Jackson's going to keep it. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Dolphins have got it back to within a score. So remember now, this was all set up by the stop defensively on fourth down. That's what got them this great field position. And then two plays later, they're already in the end zone. Yeah, partner, funny how it works like that, huh? That's a momentum swing amusement park style. Your defense comes off the field, bouncing, grooving, they're fired up. And it carries over to the other side of the ball. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. After the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Vikings now to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. The defensive end Cameron Wake brings him down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Jackson. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. That's caught, Waddle on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Second down and seven. In motion, Hill. 
Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Here's Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Has been a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Fourth down. Here's Jackson. He finds his man complete. It's Gonzalez. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 18. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now in Cincinnati. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. They'll try to run this one in, and he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings will add to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Taken down at the 42. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. But they're going option play on third down. That'll go as a loss of five. And that'll make it third and 13. Now it's Jackson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And I think we're probably seeing go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And too much juice. It'll be out of...